than 250 million antibiotic treatments are prescribed every year in the United States, but a new book warns the risk of taking too many pills goes beyond the threat of drug-resistant illnesses. Dr. Martin Blazer is the author of Missing Microbes, How the Overuse of Antibiotics is Fueling Our Modern Plagues. He is the director of the Human Microbiome Program at New York University. <laughs> Say that for me, doctor. Human Microbiome Program. There you go. You, and you passed. You said it just fine, Gail. Mm -hmm. Gail. You said it fine. It sounded weird rolling off my tongue, and I wanted to make sure I got it right for the doctor. Dr. Blazer, good morning. Good morning. We've been talking a lot on this program about uh, taking too many antibiotics, and you say in your book that maybe we as patients should resist, uh, we should resist pushing our doctor for the quick fix to mitigate your anxiety, which I thought was really interesting, because it's so easy to say to the doctor, I'll take a Z-back, please. Yeah, and that's why antibiotics are so popular. Both patients want them and doctors want them, but everybody thinks that they don't have any cost. But it's, we think they work, though. We want well, them they, because they we think work they work. For, for serious illness, there is nothing like antibiotics. They're, they're life-saving. Life mm -hmm. But most illnesses are not serious. And, and other countries, people are getting away with much lower antibiotics than we're using. And what do you want us to do? Stop pushing our doctors for it. <laughs> feel, if the doctor says you don't need an antibiotic, you should be relieved uh -huh. because the doctor has done a careful exam and he thinks you'll do better just on your own. So here's an interesting point. I mean, the title of your book is Missing Microbes. Microbes are good in some instances. What do you mean when you say missing and why do we need them? Well, because most of the, most of the cells in the human body are, are microbes, are their bacteria, and they're ancient. You got them from your mom, and she got them from her mom, and it's been going on forever that way. These are part of our normal, uh, of our normal physiology, and now they seem to be going down. So the good guys are disappearing, and that's leading to the rise of some of the bad guys. Mm -hmm. And it makes it worse because we become immune. It, because they're part of our defenses, mm -hmm. and they're, it's, they're like our Coast Guard, and, and we've, we've mothballed part of the fleet. Mm -hmm. So we need to have our microbes, our good guys, back mm -hmm. so we can fight the bad guys. And the loss of good guys in early life while kids are developing, that's, that's especially serious. Not your only concern right now. What else are you worried about? Well, I'm worried about the spread of epidemics from other parts of the world. Again, our Coast Guard is, our microbial Coast Guard is depleted, uh, and we're two days away from any village in the world. Mm -hmm. The tease to you said the treatment that you believe can trigger asthma, diabetes, and obesity. What is that treatment? What are you talking about? The, the antibiotics that, that all of our kids are receiving. The average child in the United States is getting about four courses of antibiotics by the time they're three. That's across all of the, the whole country. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's depleting our good bacteria just at a time when kids are developing. What's those, the alternative, though? There are yeah. many parents that say, my child was sick, my child had strep, I had to get them antibiotics. So. That's why you need careful exams by doctors, doctors spending more time examining patients, maybe more pay for pediatricians so that they can spend the time so that they can say, this child needs an antibiotic. It's essential that the child has an antibiotic, and this child is going to do just fine without it. Should you have this conversation with the doctors, too, because aren't they also very quick to prescribe them? Yes, I'm speaking at the American Pediatric Society in one week. All right. Dr. Blazer, thank you very much. Missing Microbes is on sale now.